Following in the footsteps of their father, nine-time NHRA winner Mike Salinas, sisters Jasmine and Gianna are set to hit the Sonoma Raceway for the National Hot Rod Association Sonoma Nationals this weekend. The San Jose sister duo are joining me now. Jasmine and Gianna, thanks so much for being here on Live yeah. in the Bay. Thank you for having us. Thank yes. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about your guys' careers. First and foremost, your dad was a legend on the, the racetrack, and you guys decided to follow suit. What was his reaction when you said, Dad, I think I want to try this out. Um, I mean, I think, you know, we grew up going to, you know, Sacramento and Bakersfield. Those are our local racetracks for us, as well as, you know, going up to Sonoma Raceway. Um, and so we grew up watching him every weekend, you know, playing. We were playing out on the track and, you know, he was running. And then, you know, as we got older, we learned that they had, you know, a kids series called Junior Drag Racing. And so at the time, you know, I'm the oldest of four girls. And so my dad, you know, I think he got kind of tired of us, you know, <laughs> running around, keeping him busy. So he's like, I'm going to get you guys in the car if you want it. And so he introduced us to Junior Drag Racing. I started racing when I was 14. Gianna, how old were you? I was around 10. 10. Wow. And then our youngest sister started when she was eight years old. <laughs> So it's been pretty exciting. Amazing. Well, you guys are hitting the racetrack at the Sonoma Raceway this weekend. And I want to learn a little bit more about your journey. So, uh, Gianna, I'll let you start. Okay. You race motorcycles. I do, yes. Um, so we run Pro Stock Motorcycle. It's one of the pro classes in NHRA. Uh, we pretty much go from zero to 200 or 200 plus. I actually just set a track record last week and in Seattle, I went 203.95 miles per hour. Congratulations. You. Um, in you know, less than seven seconds. Uh, we're shifting you know, five times going straight. You know, we are on a motorcycle that makes almost 400 horsepower. It's pretty crazy. Um, so it's very exciting. So I, you know, this weekend we have a lot of friends and family out here. Um, it's a big sponsor race for us, um, Denzo as well as Valley Services, which is right in San Jose. So it'll be a really exciting race. Um, this is Jasmine's first professional race at Sonoma, so we'll have the opportunity to race at a home track together, so it's really exciting for yeah, us. Yeah, so exciting. And Jasmine, talk to me a little bit about your journey, and I want to get this right because <laughs> you are the first woman of com color to compete in the Top Fuel Dragster ranks, and this is the highest level, so that is quite an honor. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. And just tell me a little bit about your journey and getting to there. Um, you know, I, as I said, you know, we started, you know, in the kids series and then um, as we got older, my dad began racing professionally um, in the NHRA top field series and, you know, in NHRA, there's multiple categories, but we have four professional categories. We have top field dragster, funny car, pro stock car, and pro stock bike. Um, my dad went the dragster route, Gianna went the motorcycle route, and you know, it's something that I knew I wanted to work my way up into, but um, you know, top field dragster, that is, you know, the fastest accelerating vehicles on the planet. We go zero to 330 miles per hour in three seconds within a thousand feet. Oh <laughs> <So> my goodness. <laughs> so wow. it's definitely not something that you just jump right into. Yeah. And so my journey was a little different. You know, I worked my way up through different, um, different cars and different series, you know, working, you know, going 280 miles per hour and slowly making my way up. Um, but, you know, earlier this year, the plan was for my father and I to come out in two vehicles, um, two car team and race together. And um, he had to step out um, at the beginning of the season for some medical reasons, just to take care of himself, you know, and make sure, you know, he's getting a little older. <laughs> so we wanted to make sure that he was feeling good. Um, so, you know, he asked me, he's like, do you mind, you know, stepping in and replacing me this year? And so it was kind of, you know, something I'd always been working towards and really wanting to do. And then, you know, three days before the first race for me, you know, he, I found out I was going to be jumping in a car going, you know, 300 miles per hour. Um, and, you know, now I just had my 10th race this season professionally. And um, I'm having so much fun, you know, setting, I think, you know, I went 300, 32 miles per hour at this last race. And, you know, just saying something like that, you know, it's pretty exciting. It's really incredible to what these cars are capable of doing. Um, you know, a lot of people think that, you know, we just go straight down the racetrack, but, you know, when you're trying to drive, you know, a car that has over 11,000 horsepower, you know, it's not for the faint of heart. Yeah, I mean, no big deal. You guys are just setting <laughs> records left and right over here at the top of your game. It's so impressive. Uh, Gianna, what is it like for you to just, you know, be all in the family? You guys are one of four sisters. Mm -hmm. Do all four race or was there one that doesn't? So we have two sisters <laughs> yeah, that yeah. don't race. Okay. Um, it just wasn't really their thing. Mm -hmm. um, one of them helps run our family business in San Jose, mm -hmm. uh, which is also our sponsor, yeah. Valley Services. Still and our, keeping it all in the family. Yes, yeah. Yeah, and our younger sister helps with our social media for our page. So everyone helps out where they can. Um, you know, we're very lucky that we get to do this as a family. Mm -hmm. I don't think Jasmine or I would want to do this if our family yeah. wasn't involved. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we try to all help out where we can. 
What is a lesson that you've learned from your dad, both of you? And Jasmine, I'll start with you. Um, I think the biggest lesson that my dad, you know, both my dad and my mom have taught us is, you know, just, you know, set your goals, you know, higher than what you think is possible. If it sounds super crazy, then that's exactly the goal that you should be setting for yourself and go after it and see what happens. And, you know, the only thing stopping yourself is you. And what about for you? Very similar to that. Yeah. Um, but both my parents, you know, our parents <laughs> are such hard workers, and that was something that they instilled in both all, in all of my sisters and I. And this is such a tough sport emotionally and physically, and you're going to fail a lot more times than you're going to succeed, and it's just about having that resilience to just keep pushing. You know, you fall down, you get back up, and you keep fighting, and that's where a name Scrappers Racing comes from. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we just do that. We do that every single time we're out there. It's just we, we're scrappy. We keep fighting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What does it mean to you both to, to inspire not only young women but women of color because you guys mm -hmm. are you know just taking the <laughs> races uh, you're, you're leading the charge there what does that mean to you guys um, you know I think for me you know being the oldest <laughs> oldest of four girls I've always you know been taught to have you know this mindset of you know other people younger people are looking up to you and watching everything you're doing and so from a young age and you know especially now transitioning as a professional race car driver um, I carry that some you know I carry that with me a lot just, you know always thinking that you know whatever I'm doing that you know there could be any moment where I could be changing, you know, the tra trajectory of like, you know, what somebody might think they're capable of. And yeah. so I, I think that's an incredibly powerful, you know, position to be in. And I try to take advantage of it and utilize our platform that we have in motorsports, you know, yeah. to inspire other people, not just, you know, to go racing, but to really just, you know, follow their dreams. Gianna, I want to make sure people are able to check you guys out. So yeah. when are you racing this weekend and where can they get tickets? Uh, so we're racing Friday, Saturday, Sunday in Sonoma. Um, feel free to just visit NHRA.com. You can get their tickets directly from there or you go to Sonoma Raceway and you can get the tickets as well. Amazing. Both of you guys, thank you so much for being here and good luck this weekend. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you very for much. having us. Thank you.